get in the net. Yep. Okay. River Rats, it's a nice and hopefully productive morning. We got a, a tournament that we're going to try to fish. And I don't know if we're on to the winning pattern, but we're on to a very unique one. And hopefully it plays out today. We're going to at least give this a shot. So let's go. So yeah, what we're what we're doing is we're just driving around looking for catfish with the live scope. We see them. That one's up way high. He might be a player. They've all been flatheads, which I find interesting. The ones that we've been catching up. Hopefully, we'll show you one in person here shortly. Let's slide up more in that 20 to 25 foot range where we were getting them last time. Yeah, that would be ideal. There's two of them, three of them. Oh, I think I just got bit. Somebody's messing with it. Nibbled on. Flathead turned around and went the other direction. They're swimming around like they're interested at least. I got one. You got one? Yeah. Is he pulling it down? Trying to. I got one on me too. Take off with it. Oh, I just might have got thumped. Yep, I did. No. Yep, there goes our live shed. He got thumped and ran and popped right off. Huh. Tentative. Yeah, they're just meandering right around in this pocket. One got a free meal. Hopefully, he's still hungry. Drop it right on top of the yep. Two of them right there. Yep. I do vote we give this 20 or so minutes, and if one doesn't eat these dead shad, let's uh, try to get some fresh, fresh. Pull it down, weenie. What a dog. Yeah. All right, two bites, no hookups on some tentative flatheads. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just got bit over here. Pull it down. He just dropped it too. Got him. Okay. Do what you feel, man. That's 0 for 4, which is terrible. Oh, shoot. Got him. <laughs> Get the net. No! This is like the freaking bad news bear stuff. Definitely haven't worked the kinks out in this tactic yet. Oh, he's back. I don't know. I think maybe it's the verticalness changes things. SD card error. Nothing's working today. Hooks aren't working. Cameras aren't working. Good thing we got time. At least some time. 
just got snubbed hard there. Amazing me how soft of biters they are. Which is also weird. Normally I'd say it's too late. But what do I know about a flathead? Not much. He just went straight down to the bottom. That was an interesting maneuver. And now he's coming right by my bait. Come on up and eat it. I don't think he could be any closer without it in his mouth. Oh, there's one. I'm just going to let him pull it down and pull it down. Okay, I hope he has it this time. I'm going to try to. He's not tiny. Okay. No right there. No way. I don't know what you could do different. I don't know what we could do different. I don't either. I just don't know what we could do different. Put on J's. It's amazing, really. Mm-hmm. Oh for six, but who's counting? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've missed six fish this year. What a day. Yeah. So I'm sure I huh. put a lot of this in the video. I'm shaking. Like I don't know if I'm shaking out of anger or shaking out of yeah. like whoa. We're doing everything right but one thing. Okay. Putting them in the boat. I'm getting the net. Yep. Okay. Good. Yep. 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 Keep my the net and I'll reel this line up. Yep. Well, it's a fish. We have one in the boat. <laughs> Seventh time is a charm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's not a monster. Oh, wow. He's not a monster, but we will gladly take it. Hell, yeah. They always fight so much bigger than what they are. Well, when you, because you're like, yeah. Oh, we got another one. Popped out of his mouth. I think he took the bait. Yep, he took the bait. Mm-hmm. Watch out. Okay. Yep. Wow, this is so weird. Finesse fishing flatheads with double hook rigs and skips eating a stick. I've always been a believer that when a flathead eats it, he's got it. <laughs> yeah, what do I know about a I was also a believer that they didn't chase schooling bait fish in the middle of the day, but <laughs> here we are. None of the back ones are getting touched though. It's fine. It's weird. Well, it's convenient. Maybe it's the worst thing. Maybe we just need to let them hang on there for a while. I don't know. Oh He ain't that big, but he's about here. All right, we got a fish in the boat. Hey, I just needed to not touch it. 
I think I screwed up the filming, screwed up everything on that one, but there's a fish in the boat. I think I'll make that trade. That was poorly placed tackle box. Whether we do well or not, this has got to be the coolest bite anybody's doing today. Uh, the work in the works. Okay. How's that stick, Skip? You look like you're smoking a cigar there for a second. We got one looking at my bait right there. My bait's there, and that little bump on the bottom's a flathead just looking at it. And he's probably facing this direction because he did creep up along the side and he was long. He was two, three feet long. Yeah. It's kind of neat to make sure your bait's in front of a fish. It doesn't guarantee they'll eat it, but it does. Uh, definitely increases your odds to have your baits routinely in front of fish. Yeah, he's, he's been looking at it for two minutes. I think, I think we are spider rigging for catfish, yes. Spider rigging for flathead. It's not a phrase I ever assumed I would say. But hey, here we are. <laughs> spider rigging for flathead. I guess it just goes to show you catch these things. Which is just unusual. I've, again, I, I can't say it enough, man. We, I've never seen this before. Mm -hmm. The way they act, never. One That's a good one. He's coming this direction. Yeah, that one. one right by you, two right by you. Oh. Okay, net. Whenever. This is like a bad dream. <laughs> well, there's more down there, a bunch more. This is unreal. Yeah. Oh, so that makes 13? I, I, 13 fish we've had. I, I, I ran out of fingers, man, so that's on you from here on out. So out of 13 fish, we've only landed two. That is not very good. But I guess that's, if you think about it, I mean, it's, you know, vertical fishing like this. I've always said that's the hardest, hardest fish to, to hook. Well, after today, I would have to agree. Because even when I'm, you know, fishing. Sounded like Bozo the Clown there. <laughs> after today. <laughs> swimming off, swimming off, swimming off, swimming off. Yeah, he just came off. Oh my lord. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, I'm switching to Jays. We've only landed two. I don't have a J hook. I don't have a straight J. You got any straight J's? I don't. I didn't think we'd need them. I didn't either. Oh, there's a fish on it. <laughs> oh, well, blue, but we have a limit. <laughs> something took both your bait. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's our under. <laughs> I think we already have an under. <laughs> I'm gonna let him go. Yeah, he's, he's, he's rely on him. That's hilarious. Right. We're gonna get this dialed in. Somehow. Somehow. That guy see us. Nope. Wow. Mm. 
try it. <laughs> Skip, that was kind of scary. Yeah, yep, yeah. we will, I promise. So please stay hooked. Please stay hooked. Come on. Coming up, coming up. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I see slime on the line. Got him. Oh, That's god. a good one. Oh. You could have cut the tension <laughs> with a knife. <laughs> We got our oh. y'all. Biggest one yet? Holy crap. Yeah. Yeah. We just got our third fish, y'all. <sighs> My lord. 17 fish, we get three. Yeah, it's, uh, that's, a, that's what they call a slump, Micah. <laughs> <clears throat> Little chunk. Barely hooked. Yeah, I know. Just barely hooked. Wow. <laughs> By the just by the little bit of lip, at least it was solid though. It's like that good solid bony spot. Oh, good. yeah, got a limit. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, this is fish number three. We ain't we ain't working on no record bag or nothing like that. But by we got three fish. We got seventeen fish. We have had hooked up. Well, at least bite. No, We've no. had drops. Well, okay. Yeah. We've had a lot of opportunity. All about cookie cutters, buddy. So we probably got 35, 40 pounds in there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, we can start coaling. <laughs> the good news is it's what, 9.30? Yeah, and we've got bigger ones coming around. Yeah. So I don't know if we need to. Now we got our, that we have our limit. The, yeah, it's 9.30 on the dot. How long do we play this game? I mean, honestly, we could. We could do it all day. We could do it all because they're still around us. We got to right, around us. right. I'm gonna put a fresh piece on. That's a good idea. Oh my that God. that for real. That's crazy. That's that's like Chinese water torture, man. Because, <laughs> like I said, if you could, you would have asked me last night. What if I told you you'd get 17 flathead bites the next day? I'd be like, dude, we're gonna win. We're gonna win. But you're only gonna land three of them. Yeah, we're only gonna land three of them. I mean, only, would you rather only get three bites and hook three or get 17 bites and hook three? How about we split that down the middle? I'd rather get 17 because that just tells me you're on a good pattern and then. That was a flathead. Shut up. That was a flathead. On top? It sure was. I seen him. What, you see the broom tail? Yep. Wow. You know, maybe they have to. It might be like the farm pond factor. Right. You know, you catch fish in weird ways in farm ponds because they're all super concentrated and yeah. maybe there's just stupid amounts of flatheads in here so you can catch them in stupid ways. Like this one that's coming to look at my shad. Yeah, that's a good one. He's all right. I'd like to see him in person though. I would, yes, absolutely. He said, see ya. You gotta have, you gotta have a period of time where they get fired up. I would think so. Just wait them out, you know. Wood, what do you think, man? You're such a good dog. I don't know if you're lucky or unlucky at this point in time. <laughs> <laughs> Additionally, it's still weird that the back ones haven't really right. been touched. Right. I don't know why that is. Mm-hmm. Some people think the live scope beams freak fish out, and there might be something to that, but you would think the ones in the back without the live scope beams would be the ones getting hit then. That was the case. got the deer when he bites them. All right. Come on over here. Got a couple of them. I 
her drag. <laughs> He ain't even that far from the back one. <laughs> oh, I just saw. We're calling. I don't know if he's gonna help us, but. You get that top hook. Yep, it's in the glove box. Well, you do that. I know where the scale's at. Clip me. Just push the button. All right. He is fifteen point four. Fifteen point four on he's gonna be purple. Fifteen point four on purple. Okay, clip him. Try that again. 13.1. Give him uh, orange. Clip it on his fin. 13.1 on him. 12.88. Red. Okay, grab that last one. Yep. Seventeen point one. Put red on him. This red's going back. Red is seventeen point one. Yep. Yay, we did some calling. Nice job, Micah. Glad you rebated that. <laughs> nope, not yet. I think I got him. We just doubled. Oh, mine's tiny. Is yours tiny? Okay. He's mine's hooked amazingly well for once. I thought you said yours isn't big. He might help. Keep him there. Yep. He'll be close, but mine ain't helping nobody. <laughs> if we were keeping one for dinner, he'd be dinner. <laughs> yeah. I'm just happy I hooked him good. That's a, that's a double. That is a double. Double on flatheads. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, he was hooked better than I thought. Mm. If he'd have flicked one, one good time, yep. he'd have gone. Yep. A little bait, too. Yeah. I already cut up some fresh stuff, so. He'll be close. Stop. I think he's gonna help a little. What is it? I think he's gonna help a little. 14.36. Yep. 14.36. 14.36. Orange is out. 13 something, so we gained a pound there. See you, amigo. Thanks, thanks for hanging out for a little bit. Here. I'm gonna get him some oxygen. I think he's belly up at the moment. Tasha, piece of bait. Are these all fresh cut or? Okay. 
I'll mess with him here in a sec. Why are you belly up, Orange? You knock that off. Hit that recirc, I think. There, he's getting a little more happy. <laughs> Just a live well full of uh, big, ugly, big ugly flat headed yeah. ones. That is awesome. That is awesome. A lot of teeners, but hey, it's, I like it. <laughs> it's still fish. Yeah. You notice our best hookup percentage is when uh, we're not there to screw it up. Just very true. there's something to that. That is very true. I'm sure we missed some that we didn't even see, but still. Right. That's uh it's pretty close there, bud. Hey, at least they waved. <laughs> yeah, at least they waved. Wow. That was ridiculous. Apparently that channel is only bass boat wide. Oh wow. Oh he's coming back. No, different guy. Different guy? Yeah. That guy knows where the camel's at. Yeah. I actually wave at this guy. Well he ain't looking at us. Yeah, we're in their way. Sorry. Sorry dude. It's your world, we're just living in it, man. Yeah. Is he gonna do anything, though? Right in line with it. And he's right by the bait, right there. That's my bait, that's a flathead. He went under it. <laughs> Is he gonna come up and eat it, though? Sometimes, we I've been noticing they'll go under it and come straight vertical on it. And sometimes they'll go under it and just swim away. <laughs> yeah. I think that might be the case here. Maybe he's coming over towards me. That'd be all right. He's gone. Yep, he's gone. Okay, so threw the net around a little bit. I'm gonna switch stuff up a little bit. Got some live baits. Got uh, some shad on one and there's a drum on this one. I'm gonna put him Put a sinker on him. He ain't doing so hot, but drop him down and see what happens. They've seemed to go a little sluggish, so we're trying the trying something that we haven't been doing. There we go. I hope he gets smacked. I hope any of them get smacked, but the old drum is now the wild card bait. Need me a candy bar break. Wood, you doing all right there, bud? Comfy now. Yeah, pretty comfy. You can tell Micah thanks for the jacket to lay on later. That got hammered. Really? Yeah, it did. Cool. What was he? Oh. I guess I'll let him eat. Mm-hmm. He's just freaking out though. I don't know what's going on. I'm scared to set the hook. Hooked up for the moment. He don't feel real big. Because he's not. Wow. What a glutton. <laughs> Holy crap. That's hilarious on so many levels. 
Can we leave the drum in his mouth and weigh him? <laughs> what? That is priced. That's flatheads to a T right there. That way he's hooked perfect. Yeah, I feel good. Finally starting to dial a few things in. Daylight and a dollar short. Yeah, he ain't gonna help us, but. I do too. Yeah, he's probably. 10. Either way, it's a seven flathead day, and that's pretty neat. Yeah, we're up to seven. Yeah. Mm hmm. I'm going to let him keep that drum. Yeah. All right. Oh he, did that get whacked? Yeah. Live chad got smacked. Yeah. Is he on it? No. He's right there. He might have it. Maybe not. Yep, is my shad just gone? Eh. See what he looks like. Oh, he's still kicking. Oh yeah, he's good. Missing a few Yeah. Send you back down to the lion's den, buddy. <laughs> We got two hours and twenty minutes of fishing time left. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, under the boat. Stay on there. He ain't bad. Come on. Yep. He's fitting in, but eight flatheads in the boat. Feed them. You gotta feed them. Is he gonna help? Maybe. Just make sure, and we will know for a fact. Yeah. Smallest one's 14, 13.16. Hold them up for the camera once, Micah. Flathead number eight. That was eight we caught today. Or is it nine? Oh, that's eight. Yeah. Yeah. That's about right. All cookie cutters. Still cool. Yeah, no doubt. This is too much fun. And we could have another. I mean, any moment a 50 could show up. Fact, we've seen them. Yeah, we've seen some. The biggest fish have not bit today. This reminds me a lot of ice fishing just without being cold. <laughs> Got an hour and 40 minutes till lines out. An hour and 45 minutes till we need to be on plane. And there's also appears to be a flathead right under my shad. That's my shad flipping around. That little bump that's on the bottom I think is a flathead. It's also going the opposite direction. We've also had a maraud of bass boats zip right by us all day. So I'm a little close for comfort. There's one. Oh, you do? You heard us mentioning leaving. Oh, you dirty dog. <laughs> that was that morsel you're like I can't believe yet nothing's eating that little morsel scale on the there's a scale on the hook point that's just bad luck from him swimming around because I I saw when you put that in the water I don't think I saw a scale on there Still kicking. huh people say shatter weenies they're pretty sturdy once you get them in the water. They ain't a bullhead, but they're pretty tough. I really hate to say it, but the well may have ran dry. I think so. We were seeing quite a bit more. Do we go to the mud or do we go to the brush? Let's go try some brush. Okay. Well, why not? I don't have a good reason why not. I mean, we just pull up on water and just kind of put some good baits out in front of it sit there and wait 
Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it. For our last spot, we found a giant brush pile that uh, neither of us have any intentions of getting any gear back unless there's a fish attached to it. And here's our King Kong Shad. What is he, 18 inches probably? Easily. Should just nip the tail off and throw him out. <laughs> It's a tempting little morsel that no catfish can resist right there. All right, I'm gonna have to, oh, oh, got a little blood on your pretty orange fishing rod. Sorry about that. All right, this is about to feel more like catfishing and less like bass fishing. Got him. Bigger than 14 pounds. Say I'm ready. He he bounced her a couple times and then it just went down. My camera didn't want to turn on. Now it finally did. I don't know, man. He's... He pulled it down like a good one. He's squirrely though. Oh, another flathead. <laughs> Make it eight flatheads on the day. <laughs> That's awesome. I should have known. Yes. Not mad. Not even a little. One for one, like when you're normal catfishing for him. <laughs> That's the ratio we're going to talk about. What's that? The hookup ratio. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, thank you, sir. I just really wish you was about 24 pounds bigger. Mm, that would have been last minute fireworks. We still got a little time. You never know. That's how, that's how all the other ones should have done it. It's uh, the final countdown. It's barring any bottom of the ninth heroics, uh, we're going to head back in and see where we shake out. Where we place. Either way, it was a good time. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Yeah, forward facing sonar is kind of like the big buzzword in, in tournament fishing, especially bass fishing. And some people love it and some people hate it. And I don't know where I'm at with it. Like that was fun fishing that way, but so was casting some rods out on the bottom, kicking back, relaxing, and waiting for one to buckle. So I don't know. To me, the biggest thing is having a good time and we had a good time. We, we didn't win it. We didn't cash check. We were right up there in the mix. Um, I don't even know where we placed, but, uh, as long as it's a good time, I'm calling it a, a W at least on my end. So looking forward to the next one, Mike and I are going to fish one here before too long and Decided to see what we can stumble upon, figure out, and either way, I'm sure it'll be a good time. Hope you had a good time watching this. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Appreciate the heck out of you. Hope you catch a giant.